Okay, this will be the St. Patty's Day story. You guys ready? Hi, St. Patty. St. Patrick. Once upon a time, there was an island called Ireland. Pepper and lemon and pepper. There's a coyote outside. It sat up in the Irish Sea, opposite England. It was made up of heathen tribes. They weren't um, civilized. They were pagan worshippers. They worshipped um, God. Wait, wait for them to sit down, Billy. You really know this, huh? Where's Sue Ann? Is she working? She's in Dallas. So oh, put together a show. Well, I Thank God. I'm taking the food out of your children's mouth. We're not doing sparkling Don't water. Don't repeat that, by the way. How can I not? We're not doing sparkling water right now. Don't repeat what? Right. Sit down. I'll Sit tell down you the story of St. Patty's, you little heathen. Mine is good. Say what you said that my mom said not to say again. <laughs> Say it, say it, say it, say it. I'm going to tell you this. Oh, you know, I have a Mexican guy doing the house today. I gave him some coffee. Oh. I don't know what to make of it. <laughs> so it's St. Patty's Day. What? You know, Ireland? What? You know what corned beef is? What? <laughs> you, know how much, you know how much you're going to charge me for this job? Oh, that I know. <laughs> Ireland is a little island off of England, up there in the North Sea been there for a long time, over 13 weeks. 13 weeks? Populated by heathen tribes of crazy Irishmen who wear kilts, like Mel Gibson type of people. Brave Hawks. In Ireland? Those are the Scots, don't they? Uh, no, they this? wear skirts in Ireland. You're going to be testing on this. Listen, you have to stop Billy, I wanted to show you something. Oh, I saw that. Bill! With that tooth. It's true. It. Did you I put it. I pulled it. You put it under your pillow? Yes, you I got get? six dollars. Six bucks. They used to get a quarter. All right, I am listening to Uncle Billy. The next Uncle person Billy's... that talks is going to leave the table. Oh, boy. So. You hear that? Yeah. The Irish people, the tribes, the heathen tribes, the McConnellys, the Wagalagis, and the O'Donoghues, and the, uh, and the Emery's. They were animals, they were. They worshipped pagan gods. You know what those are? Uh -huh. mm. They worshipped the god of the of the sun, the moon, the water, the rocks, the grass. The, That's what them the lightning. Lightning. Everything right. had a god. Just like The water? God for water. Was it the god of pleasure in there? I know god who's the water god. god. God for coastal. Jackson. Right. God of war. God for the. Uh, the no, the I know. I know the water god. What's his name? Percy Jackson. Oh, that's right. That was a movie about the right. Neptune or something. That we watched Percy Jackson. Right? Good. Okay. Good. All right. Now All right. listen to Billy again. All so right. anyway, while they were doing that and worshiping rocks and everything, um, uh, killing each other. In the meantime, <gasps> a new religion was forming. You know what it was? What? It was called uh, Christianity, Catholicism. You know what that is? No. No. <laughs> you will. It was making its way up to the British Isles from the Middle East. And, um, it was about Jesus. That's where Jesus comes from. St. Patrick came over to the, to the heathen uh, Irish Isles to try and convert those people and civilize them and get them, get them over to Jesus. But he had a hard time because... Ireland was full of snakes, slithering all over the place, so it made it hard for him to travel from village to village. Really? Yeah, they, they didn't have very good roads. So um, he needed to get a car. He got a Tahoe through Craigslist, and he put the snakes in the, in the Tahoe, and he drove the snakes out of Ireland. And that's why today... Uh, no. No? No, he, he did do something. It was a miracle. He made all the snakes get, go away. He, turned, he made the snakes Jewish. Oh, and now there's no snakes in Ireland. Anyway, no Henry VIII, England had their fingers in Ireland real bad. And the Pope gave him permission to take Ireland. The Pope gave the British king permission to take Ireland in exchange for England being Roman Catholic. And that went along pretty good until Henry needed a divorce, right?